Hello. Welcome to the Basic Action Net Tutorial, provided by Spin. In this course, you'll learn basic configurations of this software, as also the function of main menus and their sub-menus. In today's video, we'll see all the different tools provided by the software, which will be explained in more detail in the next videos. This is a window called Project Management, and is the first window that opens when you click on the Action Net icon. It is divided into three tabs, Projects, Server, and License. In the Projects tab, you can view the projects, create a new one, open or find a project on your computer. On the Server tab, you can choose where it's going to run, in the local computer, on another computer, informing the IP and port, or the Spin Cloud. Let's go run our project on the local computer. In the License tab, you can obtain your license information, obtain the site code file to use a license, or upload the license key file to install your license in the software. More information about this is on the blue button with question mark. Let's go back to the Projects tab and create a new project. To do this, click New Project. Choose a family and choose how many communication points will be necessary, depending on your license, options of this field can change. Then a new project window will open automatically. This is the initial look of the project. The software contains four main menus, and their submenus. These submenus also contain tabs. The edit menu contains eight submenus. In the tags submenu, you can create new tags and choose their type. There are several types available. In templates, you can create a new tag that has structure type and then you can use it in the objects tab. In Assets, you can organize your tags by levels, for better organization and filtering. In Historian, you can place changes of certain tags, in a table created in Historian Tables. In Security, you can create and modify users, by choosing the permissions of each, in four different tabs. In Devices, you can create and configure communication channels. ActionNet supports several types of protocols. If you have any questions about one protocol, select it, and click on Help button, and a PDF containing the settings will open. In Nodes, you can create nodes, for the created channels by placing their settings. In Points, Relate the tags with the points in field and, in access types, the types of access. In alarms, you can configure the groups by selecting the settings for each one, dividing them into areas, and also relating the tags to the desired alarm conditions. Choosing the condition, limit, group and message. In datasets, you can create and modify databases. View tables of those databases, queries, and files. In scripts, you can create tasks and classes, and edit them in ActionNet itself through Code Editor. You can program in C Sharp and VB.NET. When you finished writing your code, Click Build to check for errors. You can also write expressions. In Displays, you can view all the displays in your project, configure them. Choose the layout, and view all the images used.
and in reports, you can create new reports, and edit them in the software, including images, tags, tables, and more. In the draw menu, you can edit the displays, and also create new ones. Through the vertical toolbar, you can create rectangles, by changing their fill color and line color. Or create circles and buttons. Each of these objects has dynamic actions, such as having animation, visibility, executing expressions, forms of security, among others. You can also place labels, text box, alarm window, web page viewer, among others. There are also other options in the horizontal toolbar, such as zoom. In the code behind tab, you can write codes in C-sharp or VB.net, for actions on your display. There is automatic switching between languages, however mistakes can happen. There are already four methods created by default, but you can create new ones. And in the Symbols tab, all the symbols used in the display are shown. In the Run menu, Build Submenu. You can check, if there are any errors in the project. In Test, the project is executed in test mode. In Startup, the project is executed, by selecting which modules are also executed. In Publish, you can publish the project to a T-Run file. In Use Count, it shows the number of times objects are used, as well as where they are used, and the ones that are not being used. In Dictionaries, it is possible to translate project texts into other languages. and in extensions you can import or export several files. On the Components tab, you can import components. In the Info menu, you can see information about the project. In Track, the changes made and when they happened. In Notes, notes are created as a post-it form. In Help, you can search for online help for a certain subject and in License, the license information. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next ActionNet tutorial provided by SPIN. If you have any question, please contact us.